There's a committee that selects the players who are invited to the combine. It's usually 10 to 15 people. And it's people from two of the scouting services that roughly... And Keenan Reynolds, by the way, of course. Oh, but anyway, go on. Yeah. But it, it's, it's based on the scouting, college mm -hmm. scouting services that basically three-quarters of the teams in the NFL use, and then there are mm -hmm. personnel people from NFL offices there. Right. And what they do is they have a list of names, and they basically bring up the name, and it's a yes or no. And a player has to get enough votes to be invited to the combine. So it's not like they're pulling names out of a hat. Everett didn't get enough votes. Mm -hmm. And so clearly they have some reservations about whether or not they think he will be an NFL player. But having said that, the scouting combine will also tell you that 35 to 45 players every year who aren't invited to the combine wind up being drafted. So it's not the end of a road if you don't get invited to the combine. 35 to 45, to 45 every it, year. Right. Jay Coker wasn't invited as well. So certainly Everett Golson is not alone in this regard. Understanding that the combine is being evaluated right now, are there some things that could be looked at that could make this even a better process? The combine is always going to look at ways to improve it. But I'll, I always say this, Hannah, it comes down. The good people, the good talent evaluators will base it on the tape, you know, and the character evaluation of these players and the medical. The combine, the two things for the combine that are most important are the medical evaluations and the interviews that they do with the players. All this other stuff that we're focusing on, mm -hmm. it really doesn't mean a whole lot. You can go through the list of 40 times bench press, vertical jump, and you can see names at the top of those boards over the years who never did anything in the NFL. So that doesn't mean anything. I had one personnel person say to me yesterday, some guys play faster with their pads on than they do with them off. Mm. Some guys play slower with their pads on than off. So you have to weigh all those sorts of things. So the combine is always looking for ways to improve, but at the end of the day, what's most important from the combine are the medical evaluations and the player interviews.